hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video will be part two in a three-part series where I'm showing you my giant Goodwill outlet bins haul from last week. They had 30% off of your entire order and they cleared all the clothes out of the room and there were about 40 to 50 bins of just housewares and hard goods to go through. So that's why I decided to split it up. The next video will be all vintage Christmas because that's something I love to collect. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. Okay, so it's somewhat warm out. It's 36 degrees and it's been like in the 20s, so this doesn't feel too bad. Um, but the sun is shining, so that's keeping me warm and thus the sunglasses. I do apologize for the sunglasses, but that's the only way. I have to be outside when it's warm, but then the sun is shining bright. So we're just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, before I do, I have to do one other video of my teamy tea. I did tell them I would talk about it twice. So they asked me to drink the tea for a week and then tell you if I noticed anything. Well, this is just, this is the refresh blend of the teamy tea. So it doesn't make any claims about any health benefits. I will say I do enjoy the tea and I actually have been drinking it just because I like it. Um, I probably wouldn't order this tea because it's kind of expensive and it mostly tastes like mint. Although I did notice that towards the end of the cup of tea, um, you'll get some of the mango. It has like mango and straw, I think strawberry in it and rose. Um, so you do get some of the mango towards the end. So it's been pleasant. I've enjoyed it. I will tell you though, what I really like is the tumbler that they sent me. So it's this, it strains your tea as you drink it. I don't know if you can, yeah. Which I really, really like. I, I've never had one of these and I've seen them on occasion, like in people's hands, but I've never had one. As a tea drinker, that's very convenient, especially for herbal teas. Um, because then you can just put it in there and you just drink and you don't have to worry about taking your tea bag out. So that's been great. I really like this. Um, I actually would consider buying the tumbler, not the tea necessarily. So anyway, um, if you're interested in any of the teeny products that I've talked about today or in my previous, um, review, which I will link up here, um, there is a link in my description box as well as a coupon code that they provided to me. Um, if you're interested in looking at anything that I've reviewed or at other products, you can definitely take a look at all of those if you're interested. Okay. Now I will move on to the rest of this video, which will be my haul. Okay. So, um, so no vintage Christmas in this one. I'm just, I'm going to move fairly quickly because there's a lot of stuff and I just need to get it out to you. And remember, um, this is all part of a giant haul. So if I divide it into thirds, this, all the stuff I'm showing you probably cost me like $13. So let me start with the things I'm going to list on my Etsy shop. I got this roll of ribbon. And this is the thing, people definitely resell this. And it says satin tone, tie, tie, sticks to itself when moistened. And I don't believe it's ever been used. So I'm gonna list that on Etsy, see if anyone wants it. I got this. I got someone who likes Mountie, you know, aren't they called like the Mounties or something? The Canadian Mounted Police and it's luster wear. So I got, oh, that might, someone might want that. And it says made in Japan. So probably put that up and see if any collectors want that. Okay, and then I got this. I don't know if this is Christmas. I, I've seen these before, these little Russian nesting dolls. And this one is marked. It says made in USSR. There's some kind of number. I can't read it. But. So the fact that it says made in USSR, we know it's old because the USSR fell in like the 80s, right? So anyway, Let's see if it has, I actually didn't even check. I just grabbed it, went on my merry way. So, oh yeah, wow, it has all the, whoa, uh oh, that's bad. Oh, it has a lot of levels here, friends. Wow, it has a lot of little dolls, holy cow. So the last one gets about that big. So there are six levels of this nesting doll and this I'm probably going to list. It's not something I collect. I had thought about collecting them, but then I'm like, Ugh. I have another one that I had found. I, I think I'm just gonna list them all because I, I don't want to start another collection, but I thought she was cute. Worthy of rescue from the bin. So I'm gonna pick up a bunch of things for crafting. I got a bunch of embroidery floss because my daughters like to make friendship bracelets. So I got those for them. 
I got this baby jar full of spiders and things, bats. That's just, that's good for Halloween crafting. Um, and I will use that next year. And then I also got for crafting letter beads. So this is from, it's called the Bead Monkey and it's a bead store in Minneapolis, which I am actually familiar with. And let me see if I can take one out of here. These are great. I thought I could make like Christmas ornaments, depending on the letters that I have to spell them out. Um, I don't know, I just thought that would be something I could do with these. They're not cheap either, bead monkey beads. So they're like, they are orange. That's a little weird. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some hocus pocus for next, next year, next uh, Halloween or something. But they're like metal and they have this like resin in the middle and then the letters and then you can string them. Also for crafting, I picked up a pack of these. These are these little clip chalkboards that I will probably paint the little um, clothespins. And these are from Target and originally, so they were originally a dollar at Target. I probably paid like a quarter. Okay, also for crafting, I got this little slate. It is cracked, but I don't know, I thought it was cool because it says made in Portugal, which is different. You know, a lot of the ones I have are like Dollar Tree made in China. So I thought oh, I could put, you know, some kind of Christmassy, greens here and a flower and a ribbon and you'll never see the crack. I will like tape the back so that it doesn't continue to split. Um, and then maybe you put like some kind of Christmassy word. I like to do um, chalkboard lettering. That's something I do around my house. I have several chalkboards. So I'll probably just make this a Christmas themed one and put it somewhere in my house. I got a bunch of these, which are, these are vintage embroidery hoops for sure. Looks like someone just like emptied out their stash. So, and they're in all different sizes. I really love making crafts with these. You can do little mini wreaths. And um, something I've seen recently, you actually can put one inside the other and then you put your flowers here and your ribbon here. And I don't know, it just looks kind of cool. It, like adds a dimension to the wreath. So, but that was cool. And I also got an oval one. I always pick these up because these are kind of harder to find. You don't see those as much. Okay, that's pretty much it for crafting. Oh, I did get this. Um, this is for my junk journal. I just thought it was cool. It says, Want Book Northwest West Electronics Corporation, Minneapolis. Anytime something says Minneapolis, I pick it up. And the pages um, actually say Minneapolis. So I thought that was cool. Someone had started a grocery list. This is full of the um, rings that I'm trying to collect to make another one of my little pumpkins here. The um, canning ring pumpkins which I can link above if you haven't seen that video and then but what they're in is so cool so I found this I'm not going to open it because it's full of those rings but it's a Walt Disney school bus lunchbox the handle is broken this clip doesn't really work but that doesn't matter I think it's adorable I really like vintage Disney and I never buy it because it's always outrageously priced but at the bins this probably cost me 50 cents and like some of you suggested I could do a little leather handle like a little black leather belt handle here to make a handle and I'm definitely putting this in a vignette in September next year I like to do like a little back to school vignette even just for myself even though my kids are not in elementary school anymore I still like to do it and so I thought that would be perfect so it's got oh look at all the characters it has Oh my goodness, it even has Bambi and Thumper. Holy cow. Love it. Love it, love it. I also got, actually my friend Amy, I told you Amy from White Lab House, she and I went together and she found for me this pretty vintage handkerchief, which you know I'm putting together a little collection and I'm hanging them in this cute little rack in my craft room. And then I can take them out and use them for different displays when I need them, but then they're not just like in a pile in a drawer otherwise. So I thought that was pretty. I got, you know, I love tea tins. So I found this one. It's so pretty. Look at the colors. It's got the colors that I love, the aqua and like the pink. And I think the addition of the black is really cool. This will go in my craft room. And it says made in Holland. Now that's different. Usually they're made in England, but this one's made in Holland. So that was cool. Okay, then I found this, cause you know, I like to pick up trash. <laughs> it really is kind of like trash, but it's just a box lid. 
I think it's really pretty and I'll probably use this in a Christmas display. I need to tape it. It's a little broken. It looks like someone was storing their cookie cutters in the box. I did not find the box, but I can tape this shut and then use this part to like prop up a Christmas display because I'm always needing to make different heights when I make vignettes. And so I thought that would be useful and pretty to do that. And it looks old fashioned and it says manufactured by Fascination Candy Company, Chicago, Illinois. So. Okay. Then, oh, I did forget some crafting items. I got some little pieces there's a craft I saw on Pinterest um, that I probably will use these for. And these are probably for springtime crafting. This one will go in a Christmas craft that I'm actually about to make this weekend. And these as well. You'll see these come up again soon. And this probably too. If you see a theme. <laughs> like silver old looking things and then these I just got because I thought they were cute and I'm sure I'll use those in some craft okay then I got this it's a vintage kitchen utensil it's orange so I'll probably put that in with my Halloween stuff I already have one like this but you know whatever it's basically free I wasn't gonna leave it behind out maybe I paid like 50 cents so it's really cute and I really like to have these set around so that'll be cute okay I got this because I don't really have a lot of um, St. Patrick's Day decor. I thought that was really cute. I don't know if it's like for coffee shot for like, it says Carigaline Pottery Cork Ireland Limited. I don't know. So that was really cute, tiny. And that'll be nice for my um, St. Patrick's Day decor. Oh, my hair blows in my face when I'm outside. Okay. And someone got rid of their collection of old bells. They were all in a tub together. We got this one and this says Merry Christmas. And I don't know if you can see the, what is that called? Like the ringer thing on a bell. I don't know. Well, one of you knows. I know one of you knows what that center thing, little knocker thing is called in a bell. I don't know. I'm sure I could Google it, but you know, I'm filming right now. So if any of you knows, let me know. So I got that one. And then I also got this one. And they're just, they're all little. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but like next to my eyeball, they're not very big. So I'm going to display them all together. And then this one looks like a little copper cowbell. And then this is really pretty. Um, what does this say inside? This says Bells of, oh boy, Sarna. Sarna, I don't know, I can't read it. Bells of Sarna something. Very pretty. I love these. These are a very cool find. So those will all get displayed together. These two guys, I was going to list them, but I think I want to hold on to them. They're red owls and I love owls. They're totally 70s looking. They say Midwest. And I have an idea in mind for these. So you may see these turn up again in my Christmas decor. Moving on, I've had all those things I was showing you in this vintage Tupperware container. And I know this is like a canister. I thought this color was different. Like it's not the harvest gold. It's almost like, I don't know, it's like an orangey yellow. I thought that was cute and super useful for storing stuff. I got some um, enamelware. I love, you know, I love enamelware. I got this piece and it's like an enamelware pie plate. And you saw me the other day, I showed a red candlestick that I also got in my bins haul. And I'm probably gonna put this on top of that with putty, not glue. So I can take them apart, but I think that will make a really pretty Christmas display with the red candlestick and then the enamelware pie plate. So that's what that's gonna be for. I got this amazingly cool. And I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it wasn't 30% off, because it probably weighs a little bit, but I thought this was really cool. It's a big, I think like a baby bathtub. 
it, it only has a little bit of its graphic left. You can see that. And it says US Standard Enamelware, United States Stamping Company, Moundsville, West Virginia, USA. So I thought that was really neat. Why I love these so much, but I do. They are from Germany, West Germany, I think it says. Yes, West Germany. They are monk salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> I don't know why I love these. I looked them up online and I think they're supposed to have like a third larger thing, which I forget what that was for, but it doesn't matter. They are so jolly looking and they just make me smile. So I love them. And you know, they're so lightweight. So I just think they're really fun. I'm gonna turn them around so you can see the backs. So funny. Okay. So, monk salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Then I got these, which I adore. They are Corel, and I'm just gonna use them at Christmas time. They're not like old or anything. Made in USA, Corel Vitrell, break and chip resistant. And I think they're really pretty because they're, you know, trimmed in red. They're really, they almost look like enamelware. I love them. I don't know what set they're from, but. I would have these as Christmas dishes if I were to find them. I just think they're really pretty and simple. So I got two of those. Yes, this is a pedestal bowl and it says Southern Living Gallery. And I think this is really pretty and useful for serving or for decor, for a tablescape. I mean, cause you could do a candle with like base filler in it. Or you could, you know, put candy in, or you can use it for food. Um, Cause I looked at, it's it's food safe, so. So I thought that was pretty. And for 39 cents, can't go wrong. Okay. This should have been 39 cents and he fought me on it. So I was like, whatever, it's fine. It's just one of those glass insulators. I'm gonna do something with Christmas ribbon for Christmas time in a display. I'm not collecting these, um, but you know, if I see them and they're cheap, I'll pick them up. Because if you see them in an antique store, they're like six bucks. I don't want to spend that much, but you know, this is probably, probably weighs a pound. It probably cost me like a dollar. And then I got this because um, I really like the print on it. And I have another one like this. It's um, skinnier. I, it didn't have its cool because I think it's supposed to have the cool one piece older lid that screws on. So I'll have to keep my eye open at the bins for one of those. But I just thought it was cool and I like this pattern. I have another one that looks similar. Oh, this is cool and I have a project in mind for this. It's just a crate. And again, I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it weren't 30% off, but it was, so there you go. I am going to leave this alone, but the rest of it is getting painted and I'm going to make something similar to something I saw at Michael's. The Michael's one was like $40. This probably cost me $1.50, maybe $2 and I'll paint it and I might get my friend Tammy to cricket me some letters. What do you think, Tammy? Uh, or my friend Amy, she has a cricket too. Um, so I'm gonna do something on here that I saw to duplicate something I saw at Michael's. Yes, and I will show you when I'm done. Okay, then I got for the family, I'm trying to put together some white dishware that we can use because our everyday dishes are blue, which is nice, but <clears throat> does not always go with um, what I want to do on the table, especially at holiday time. So I did find four Gibson plates. It just says everyday Gibson, China microwave and oven safe. And I know I've seen this pattern before, so I don't think it's gonna be hard to come up. I'd like to have like a set of 12. So we'll see if I can find them. But um, I don't think it's gonna be hard. I, I definitely think I've seen these before. And even in the regular Goodwill, they're only 99 cents. So, you know, that should be good. These are a very useful item for the family. Okay, I also got this and it's a fruitcake tin from the Collins Street Bakery. And they still put this fruitcake out and the tin out, but it changes a little every year. I do think this is one of the older ones based on what I've seen online. And I'm gonna send this to a subscriber friend who collects cowboy things. So she lives in New Mexico, I believe. So send that along to her, hope she enjoys it. Okay, so I also found these, which are so cool. It's a whole bunch of them. They're just a bunch of old flags. This one is broken, but that doesn't matter. I'll, I can easily fix that. Um, but they're just, I love when flags look older. 
So they're just cooler than the ones you can buy at Target for a buck. <sighs> and the color's a little faded. I just like them. They have history to them. So. so I got four of these larger ones and then two of the smaller ones. These might be newer, but that's fine. They've been in the sunshine probably and so they've faded a bit. So I still like them. So those are cool. You know, I do a ton of decorating for the patriotic holidays. Um, so that these will come in handy. Oh, and I found this. This is really pretty. This is for my family. I think it's supposed to be an egg plate. And I actually have an egg plate in my hutch. If you've seen any of my um, tours, you've probably seen it. I'm going to replace this, that with this for the fall season through Thanksgiving. I just think it's really pretty. And it just has all different kinds of pumpkins. And there is no mark, which is fine. That's fine with me. And then I found this, which is really cool and useful. And I'll either put this in one of our bedrooms or I'll use it for decor or maybe by the front door. I haven't exactly decided, but I think it's really pretty with the wood tone and the hooks being dark. I like that. I have lighting. My light fixtures in my house are this tone. So and it says made in India. Nothing special, just cool. It's wood and it says rustic wood and iron. So these are actually iron. So that's cool. Oh, I got an, another empty box because you know, that's what I do. I just thought it was cute. I'll probably use that in spring decor. I like the yellow and the pink and the green. It's really pretty. It used to be um, wax catchers, I guess, candle coasters, but they are no longer in the box. So that's okay. All right. Oh, I got this. It's a doily, but it's stiffened. So I thought that was really pretty. I got this because I'm going to um, use it in a craft. I saw on Pinterest a craft with something like this. So you'll see that in the coming season, in the Christmas season. And I got a whole bunch of handmade cards. I'm not going to show them all to you, but they're basically hand stamped. Some of you might be receiving some of these. And then I got, um, someone had dumped like all of their mother's recipes into the Goodwill. I don't know why. So I picked up some of this woman's recipes and I'm going to try them. I love old recipes. So, and I found this cute Valentine. That was cute. The last two things got this. It's an old hymnal, Great Hymns of the Faith. And I can use this at Christmas time, but I actually am also going to photocopy some of the hymns, particularly the Christmas hymns. And there's a craft I want to do with them. I don't want to tear them out because I really like the old hymnal and I like that it's red. So I think it'll look really pretty on the shelf at Christmas time. Maybe put like a ribbon around it, but I will photocopy and then age the paper so that I can use the old hymns in here. So that's cool. And then the last thing I got, this made me sad to find it, that someone had just tossed it. I mean, I guess that's what we do, you know, we get rid of stuff, but I wanted to save it. So it's a little kid's note to his mom. And it says, dear mother, I love you very much, mother. I have a present for you, mother. I know you like it. I know you will like my flower. I know you like me. Love, Stephen J. So... I just think that's really cute and sweet and I'm just gonna stick it in my craft room and know that, I don't know, I just didn't want this to go to the trash. So that will, for now I'll put it in the hymnal and then it can stay there, so. Okay, and that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this part two of three of my giant Goodwill outlet bins haul. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do thrifting and DIY videos every week and occasional decor videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.